what's going on everybody welcome to my office so today what we're gonna do is decorate my office this actually is my son's classroom um if you guys don't know i homeschooled my son and it was probably the best decision i ever made as a parent also i just wanted um, the ability to be able to control aspects of what my son is learning and be more hands-on with his education and make sure he had the tools in order to be successful and not risk him being looked over. So I won't get into all that right this second, but right now we're going to get into decorating this office. As you can see, there's a lot of junk going on, turned into a storage. That side of the room is full classroom. This side of the room needs organization and a little bit of pizzazz. It needs to have a little, you know what I'm saying? If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the reel that I did and I bought some items from Five Below and I wanted this to not be a super expensive project, but I still want it to be cute and, um, affordable at the same time. So I'm going to show you some of the items that I picked up from Five Below, but I also picked up a couple items that I didn't find there from Amazon and I linked them in my Amazon, Amazon, <laughs> please link them in my Amazon store um, below. So if you want to find some of these items there, you can go and look at them. I put some stuff in there that I didn't get, but I probably will get later. Um, so you guys let me know what sticks out to you. I got this dry erase board. It has a calendar on it, a little section for notes, and a to-do list. But I got this one because of the to-do list. This year, I've really been working on writing things down and being able to cross things off my list and to make sure I'm staying on task and not just doing busy work and feel like I'm doing something and I'm doing nothing. Next, we have this hanging bulb lamp. I didn't get this for any other reason, but because it was cute. It's cute, it's got the little light bulb and it's really simple, like just a little white with a little wood accent. I'm not mad about it, I'm not mad about it. I got this Bliss Aroma Diffuser. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna plug it in and put the little drops of oil at the top and it's gonna steam a little bit, warm up a little bit. It does change color. Everybody on YouTube loves LED lights, so I don't know what the obsession is, but we gonna rock with it. Next, this circular photo grid. It has like these little like rubber band type things right here. Slide the photo into the little slot. I was thinking about maybe putting some scriptures or um, things like that in there, not just photos, because look what I got. It's a collage frame kit. It came with eight frames and I think this was about $10. So I'm gonna print out some of the photos that I've taken um, over the years that I've really loved and kind of put those in some type of pattern up here on this wall. I probably won't use the other thing for photos. It'll be for something else. Cute, of course. <laughs> I think at this point I was just buying stuff. I got to do better, but it was cute. I've always wanted one of these and I never had one, but it's a little small letter board. So it comes with these cute gold letters here and you can write little notes to yourself or like a saying or something like that. I don't know, maybe. And the last thing I got from Five Below, metal letter mirror. So it says smile and then it's a mirror on this I think, side. I think it's gonna come together nicely. So I was like scrolling through Pinterest and like, what we want our office to look like? What we want her to look like? knew that I wanted to get the computer screen. I wanted to raise it up. I did buy on Amazon um, a clear acrylic computer screen stand. Be raised up off the computer and maybe even give me some storage underneath. So it came with the little leg. Build a Brie, a uh, Brie to build a. Also, if you follow me on, on Instagram, I said Barbara the Builder, but I really could have just said Brie because my name started with a B. Brie the Builder. Okay. Also, I got these clear um, cord organizers and you just stick them to the side of your desk. That way when you unplug your stuff, they ain't falling everywhere. This is a need. I don't know why I haven't got this before, but we gonna use it now because we being cute. We got a phone stand because sometimes I need my phone to still be propped up, but I need to charge it and laying it down and all that is just, don't be doing it. Also, it's clear and it's acrylic because we gotta stay on brand, okay? And lastly, I did get some clear acrylic floating shell. Got the adhesive kind, so it kind of comes with this like rubbery adhesive, almost like a Gorilla Glue type, because I don't want to put holes in the wall. I'm gonna clear the desk area, clear everything off, start organizing things, and take y'all with me. And maybe we'll have a little story time while I do it, because 
what's a YouTube video without talking to myself? How could I forget about my cutie plant? What are we starting with? The computer stand. That's what we gonna do. Let me get my chair back over here because Breathe the Builder is having a time. Is having a time. I think I wanna talk about entrepreneurship and kind of the struggles that come with it or the lessons, we won't call them struggles, we'll call them lessons. Coming up with policies, the tone that you want your business to have, is it more straightforward and you know, no nonsense? Is it fun, is it welcoming, educational? Like what is the tone for your business? I didn't start really thinking about that until this past year. Like what do I want Brie Images to be known for? When I first started, photography. It was just a hobby. It was something that I enjoyed doing and people enjoyed the pictures that they got for me. That's just what it was. Then once I started experiencing more different clients that were expecting different things from me, maybe from a headshot perspective. So I have my own business and I need you to take a picture that represents my business versus, you know, this is my family. Can you take a picture of my family loving each other? You know, one of the most important things to decide when starting your brand is who you are through life it's a constant it's a constant this thing did not come with directions good thing i'm breathe the builder because there's no instructions i guess it's pretty self-explanatory though so i'm not too mad but if you get this and there's no instructions just come back to this video and Watch how I put it together. The journey in of figuring out who you are, I believe is the most important part of ha like running a business. Because if you don't know who you are, um, what you stand for, what your morals are and all of those things, you're gonna get ran into the ground once you get into business. Ooh, ran into the ground. You hear me? Because people want what they want they're gonna be requesting things from you that you may not necessarily agree with. How are you gonna handle those situations? Clients following up about pictures that they want in two hours when you already told them when the pictures were gonna get there. Clients wanting you to capture them in a certain light that you may not be comfortable with or this and that. Like, how are you gonna figure out those things? And ultimately, how do you handle adversity? How do you handle conflict? If you don't know how to do those things, please don't become an entrepreneur. And I'm saying that from a consumer standpoint and a business owner standpoint, because you don't know how to handle conflict, confrontation, ciao, please. Save us all. I thought I was gonna need a screwdriver, but I don't need one. That's it. I've come across some people that, I think we've all come across these, across people that are like this, that they rather avoid, you know, any type of conversation where they are going to have a differing opinion from the person that they're in conversation with. They'll just avoid the topic altogether. And when you're in business, you can't do that. That's how you get a bad Yelp review. We want good ones. I know clients get a really bad rap for ghosting because of prices, but some of my, some of y'all be ghosting clients. That is also unacceptable. Look at the cute stand. That could have been a doozy. It does come with these little rubber grip. Um, I just realized when I sat it down. Hold on, stickers on here so that the computer don't be sliding across the glass. It's unacceptable for you to ignore anybody. Why are we doing that? It's 2023. We're not ignoring nobody in 2023 unless they need to be ignored. <laughs> I'm not gonna say never, but let's learn how to communicate in an effective way so you can get your point across. And then after that, if you go your separate ways, cool. But no ghosting. Let's use our words, yeah? Our stand is up. It's up and it's stuck. Excuse me. It's already giving luxury, am I right? I'm right. Oh, she's cute. Oh, it's a battery powered lamp? 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm not too happy about it being battery powered. Or like this, maybe, just maybe, I should line everything up on the floor first and then place it on the wall. She's smart, she's smart. Thank you guys this is the final look and i'm actually really excited about it it's not perfect but i'm really excited about the vibe i'm happy with the way it looks my final steps would be to print out images to go into these frames and get rid of the stock images maybe put some inspirational quotes and scriptures and things like that inside i hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle but ultimately overcome. Sticky tape that comes with the floating shelves, be very careful with it when you're moving it because you kind of have to do it at an angle, almost like command strips, how you pull it. So you gotta just like move it one way, don't like pull it off. Cause I definitely took a chunk of paint off, but you can't see it cause I put the plant right there. So just a little tip for that. But I hope you guys have been enjoying my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure to check out my Amazon storefront. There's things from gear to my office um, decor to just really fun and cute things that I enjoy throughout my life. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.